Hello to all, I am Marcela Beijing and this study was supported by CAMPS and Santander International Mobility. As background, we know that provoked vestibulogenia is a highly prevalent condition causing dyspareunia and a significant psychosocial burden. Uh, however, its pathophysiology is still unclear and it is frequently associated to the pelvic floor muscles hyperkinesity shown to be increased in this uh, population. Such hyperkinesity is suggested to cause mechanical constriction of the peripheral arterial blood vessels of the perineum, but whether the blood flow is altered in women with PPD remains unknown. Because the dorsal artery of clitoris is related with sexual response, and sexual function, which is impaired in women with PPD, we aimed to evaluate and compare blood flow of the dorsal clitoral artery in women with PPD and healthy controls. This was a cross-sectional study evaluating 21 healthy controls and 20 diagnosed with PPD, and the clinical variables assessed were pain during sexual intercourse, cotton swab test, frequency of sexual intercourse and Friedrich score from 0 to 15, being 15 representative of a clinical manifestations of PBG. All women fulfilled the female sexual function index, which total score and each domain were assessed to this study. A trained evaluator blinded to the participants diagnosed performed the external assessment of dorsal clitoral artery blood flow using color doppler ultrasound that was used as the image shows. Some standardized conditions were followed in order to control for confounders. And the spectral doper provides a measure of the change in velocity throughout the cardiac cycle and the distribution of velocities in the sample volume. And this study assessed three consecutive waves in order to calculate the mean of each of the following variables, the peak systolic velocity, the end diastolic velocity, the time averaged maximum velocity, and the pulsatility and resistance indexes, both assessing the resistance to intra-arterial flow, and they are calculated based in the three previous uh, variables. As a result, we found that both groups assessed were similar in clinical and social demographic characteristics. And as expected, women with PPD uh, showed worse values for all of the clinical variables assessed and for the total score of male sexual function index. Um, when assessing clitoral artery flow, we saw that the group with PVD showed increased values of peak systolic velocity, time average maximum velocity, and far resistance index compared to control group. So the image you see in your right is for our PVD group and the control group in your left. When interpreting our results, we should recall that the resistance is calculated dividing pressure by flow. As we found increased resistance for the PPG group, it can be explained by either the increased pressure inside the blood vessel or decreased flow. If we are keeping the flow constant, it should be explained by the first option. And when we have increased pressure inside a vessel, we should also recall that it, it must be because there is a reduced area. So uh, we also found higher velocities and velocities calculated dividing flow by the area. Again, keeping flow constant, the area must be reduced in our PPD group. And when the area is uh, reduced, there is higher resistance completing the thoughts of the interpretation of these results. In conclusion, our findings reveal decreased peripheral tissue perfusion in women with PPD and it can be interpreted based on the increased resistance index. Such alterations could potentially be related to local vasoconstriction due to muscle hypertonicity contributing to PVD underlying mechanisms. I thank your attention very much.